Hey, and welcome to It's Pouring Paint. I'm Cynthia. Uh, I am going to do something. Um, I, I, I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty exciting. So, I got these three fake candles. They're um, th uh, pl uh, plastic, I guess. You know, the ones that you, you put a battery in and so forth. Well, I got these from a lady who... Uh, who was just giving them away because she had kept the batteries in here and they corroded. So now they don't work. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take them because I know exactly what I'm gonna do with them. I'm gonna pour on them, right? Right. So Canada Day is coming up and I thought to myself, I wanted to use a red white thing for something and this is I think perfect for it because I wanna put these outside, right? And maybe at my trailer, I'm not sure. So I have here Artist, Artist Loft, um, uh, flow acrylic red just plain red and this is Amsterdam white I am going to throw a little bit of silver in only because two colors just always seems too little <laughs> so I'm going to do one color and I'm doing it on bubble wrap so this is going to be kind of cool and it's going to be interesting because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all my little chevrons in here I'm going to take this sucker and I'm just going to roll it over it and let's see what happens now I did kind of measure and I'm praying to gosh it should be fine. Yes. So I'm going to go right ahead now and start putting on the chevrons. Now I'm rolling. I'm going to do it this way. So I don't know if any of you have seen these before. Oh, this is, these are new bottles. And I just realized like, unlike this one, it has a little tab to put it on. This one doesn't have anything. So I got to do a little fandangle here. So here I go. Let's just get at it. I'm going to try and do this as quickly as possible because this is the most boring part of any type of video is watching this, in my opinion. Although, uh, I've watched many, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know what you feel, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And someone said, I, I can't believe I have like 200 and some odd followers. I, when I started this, I just started it because I love doing this and I love videotaping it. And I just wanted to show people, like, you can create beauty very simply and inexpensively. I wish I'd found this out, like, earlier. Oh, that's a bad chevron. That's a U. That's not a V. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and cover all of this in. I'm going to start with the red and do the red. I don't know about the silver. So what I have found is that you kind of really need to cover all of the uh, bubbles, <laughs> bubble wrap. And I'm sitting here wondering now, do I have enough paint? Because I just went and hurriedly put this paint on, or hurriedly put the paint on. I hurriedly made this paint up because I was too excited to get this done. Oh, I'm not, I'm not there. Okay. I did a bad V again. <laughs> I don't think it matters in the long run. So what I'm going to do after I roll this is I'm going to, I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Give me a second. I just dipped. And, of course, my top picked up there. I dipped the red into the white and made it blend. Oh, this, this little thing. I don't like that little guy. It's just too easy to hang about. Oh, I love this red, though. What do you guys think about this red? It's very vibrant. Uh, and now I'm going to do white again. Oh, yeah, pain, pain in the boop. I'm going to just try and continue to cover. <laughs> where the bubbles are. I'm not, I've done this once before, or a couple, maybe twice before. And if you don't cover these it tends to leave little um little spots now i think i mentioned it but if not um oh see now i dip the white in the red sigh it's okay though don't worry so as i said i'm going to roll it like you like i said before but then i have to figure out how to dry it right so i got these guys these are my little things that I put things on. And I'm just going to kind of place them on top. And then everything is going to kind of flow down. Which, you know, will create an even different... Oh, a different uh, 
effect than the one I am doing. Now, I don't, I want some silver, but not a whole lot, right? Because Canada Day really doesn't have silver in it. Even though, uh-oh, starting to run out of paint. I think we are sterling. <laughs> Canadians, sterling. Anyways, that's my hee-hee. It's not even a hee-hee. Okay. Some more red. Now, we're doing three of them, which this will be sufficient for um, all this paint, of course. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I wonder how everybody's been doing. Um, I know it's been very trying times, and um, I'm really, really hoping that things will turn around soon. Now remember when I said don't leave any bubbles? Yeah, I see some bubbles that I've left, and I keep thinking to myself, if I keep pouring paint, see it's pouring paint, but if I keep pouring paint, it's just gonna be a huge muck. Should we try it? Look at that, it's pink. There's no pink in Canada Day. Oh, <laughs> I thought I had dusted these off. All right, well, anywho, I'm gonna try it, just because. Now the top, I was thinking of dipping afterwards, uh, but in here, I'm not gonna do anything with it in here. Um, paint might get down there and I'll probably just kind of scrape it off, but Okay, guys, here goes. Who knows? Who knows? I'm going to start here, and I'm going to press. I'm going to give it a little press, make sure I'm in within the boundaries, and here we go. Ready? Let's do it. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to tell you right now, found error number one is we must tape down. Oh. See, that was my fault. I did not even think about that. Got to tape down the... Uh, bubble wrap. Okay, is it done? It is. Okay, there's number one. Then we're going to just put it up on here. <laughs> put it up on here to dry. Well, that's kind of neat looking. Now I kind of want to go ahead and... Oh, getting paint on me, of course. I want to tape that down, but it's look at this. It's a mush. I'm gonna do do it from this side this time. Cause I have a feeling now. <laughs> My bubble wrap. Okay. You live and you learn, right? I think I say this on every single video. <laughs> you live and learn. I can't say it any better. There's number two, and I got some inside. Of course I did. So this one's looking a little bit more defined. Let's try number three. If you are going to do this, I highly suggest you tape down your bubble wrap. That one wasn't so bad, but at the same time, it did, it's not getting it everywhere, so that's annoying. Aha, done. Done. So, my red and white turned out to be pink and white. Um, so, not exactly. You know what? I got these little guys here, too. And every once in a while, I don't know if you've ever seen these at the dollar store. My daughter bought, like, a quite a few of them for a Christmas gift a few years ago. And every once in, and she's got a ton left over. And they're so small, these little canvases. See, I'm just gonna. And that would have looked great. Except it didn't get everything. There we go. And there is my little, my little guy there. So, I have done them. I'm going to, see, you can see them dripping, right? I figured as much as it's going to start gravitizing down and actually changing the um, the look of the chevrons because the chevrons were, uh, see I tried to clean this, don't do that. Wait till it's dry and then we can kind of go over it. 
Okay, so I have completed it. I'm not going to do any more with this bubble, bubble wrap. Um, it's a mess. So I'm gonna just try and put them here so you can see them. You gotta let me know what you think. <laughs> so the red and white, my, my patriotic uh, desire for these did not work. However, I still kind of like them. I think that with the gravity pulling them down, it's going to give them an even more um, sort of definition of going down. I'm going to grab you right now. Grab this. Uh, not you. I'm not going to grab you. Don't worry. I'm going to grab my camera and bring it down so we can't we can see this better. Please don't mind the flip. Okay. So. There we go. I don't know if these are seeing you very well. I have it, unfortunately. Hold on. Okay, that's better. I had it on uh, so I could see to make sure. Um, so I had it on the flip where it showed the screen. Uh, you know, like to, where you take selfies and stuff. Here it is against some light, which... I see some silver in there, but can you see how it's um, dragging down now because of the gravity? I have to say though, this is kind of my favorite, my first one. It's kind of neat. All right, and of course, my little baby. Yeah. All right, I'm going to let them dry, and I'm going to come back and show you the finished result, and clean up maybe a little bit of it, and... Um, Put them outside. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And we will see you soon as these are dry. So they are dry now. And I think they turned out fairly good. I like see that where it uh, dripped down. I really like that. So I did clean up the tops a bit. Uh, I was lucky because this is actually kind of like a wax on here, so I just kind of scraped it off. But here they are, my red and white. <laughs> There's the bit of red. My red and white candles that turned to pink and white. But, oh, and my baby. My little baby. She's cute. I'll keep her. Anyways, here it is. It's all done. I hope you enjoyed this. Give you a little uh, idea of what you can do with those useless candles that um, don't light up and are fake. <laughs> you can cause decorations with them. Anyways, it was really, really great to do this. And I hope you enjoyed it. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. And we will get you next time. Have a great day.